like solving mysteries and we like doing puzzles. Mysteries and puzzles. Let me see. Yes, we have a jigsaw puzzle. Hooray! We love jigsaws. <laughs> <laughs> this looks like a cloud. And here is the sun. Maybe they fit together. No, they don't fit. Try turning that piece around. Now they fit. Where does this piece go? Hmm. Try putting the blue sky with the blue sky. It fits! <coughs> and the green grass with the green grass. The jigsaw <laughs> is finished. It's a picture of a house on a sunny day. Well done, children. <laughs> that was great teamwork. Are you enjoying your day, Pandora, Peggy? Yes, thank you. We love doing puzzles and solving mysteries. Our daddy is a policeman. Ooh. I want to be a policeman when I grow up. The police drive cars with flashing lights. And they go... Nina, 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 Nina. Yes, yes. Perhaps now is a good time to phone your daddy and let him know how we're getting on. Oh, where is my phone? I must have put it down somewhere. Have you lost your phone, Madam Gazelle? Yes, I had it just now. Where can it be? Where did you last see it? If I knew that, Susie, I wouldn't be looking for it, would I? Why don't you always put things in the same place, Madam Gazelle? Then you will know where they are. Well, that is very good advice, Susie. But it is not always possible to put something down in the same place. Every time. We can help you find it. No, I think it is lost. Oh, what a mystery. Our daddy always says, keep your ears and eyes open. Ooh, we, we love, love fireworks. Hello, Madam Gazelle. Where do you want these fireworks? Put them on the next hill, please, Mr Bull. Okie dokie. Children, before we celebrate Chinese New Year, we must sweep up. Why? We must sweep out the old year before we welcome in the new year. <laughs> <laughs> Finish, Madame Gazelle. Lovely. Now, we must be careful not to sweep anymore, so please hide all the brushes. <laughs> all the children are hiding their brushes. Madame Gazelle... Why do we hide the brushes? So we don't sweep away the good luck that the new year brings, Pedro. Okay. When you have good luck, nice things happen. Ooh. Can I have some good luck, please? Ali, Ali, Ali. They say if you wear something red, it will bring you good luck. <laughs> Pepper and her friends pick something red to wear. I'm wearing lucky red shoes. I'm wearing a red hat. I'm wearing a red scarf. And my red dress. Ah, oh, a red scarf and a red dress? That will make you extra lucky, Peppa. That's not fair. I want to be extra lucky too. If I am extra lucky, I will share it with you, Susie. <coughs> Thank you, Peppa. <laughs> Peppa and Susie are best friends. Now. To celebrate the new year, we will have a dragon dance with a big dragon like this. Ooh! Is it a scary dragon? No, Danny. It is a super friendly dragon. Where is it? We are going to make it. What's that? It looks like a sausage. Ah, I adore woodland walks. The birds singing, the dappled sunlight, the... Where are the puddles? There's one. Hooray! Muddy puddles! Oh, this puddle is not very muddy. That's because it's got leaves and twigs in it. Not all puddles are muddy, Pepper. Hmm, this puddle is twiggy. And it's crackly. So what would you call it? A twiggy, crackly puddle. <laughs> Hmm, I would have to agree. Woodland puddles are twiggy and crackly. Can we find a puddle that's a bit more sploshy? OK, but we'll need to go somewhere else. Why don't we go to the beach? Yes, the beach! <laughs> Looking for muddy puddles Splishy, sploshy puddles 
looking for muddy puddles. A la da di da do. <laughs> this is the beach. <laughs> Look, puddles. <laughs> oh, this puddle isn't muddy. That's because it's made of sand and water. So what shall we call it? It's not Twiggy Crackly. It is a scrunchy, crunchy puddle. <laughs> it certainly is. Beach puddles are scrunchy, crunchy. <laughs> Can we find more sorts of puddles? Let's try the playground. Yes, the playground. <laughs> How do you play this game? The captain takes the ball and throws it over there. No, I know the rules and you're the not one no, holding them. Wrong. I say you do it this that way. That is the rules because I said so. <laughs> what about the team who gets the ball through the hoop wins? <laughs> OK. And they're off. <laughs> Emily Elephant catches the ball. Now Susie has it. Pass to Pedro. And now to Pepper. Mandy takes the ball. Pass to Danny. To Molly. And up high in the sky. Caught by Mandy Mouse. <laughs> <laughs> to Gerald Giraffe. <laughs> Goal! Hooray! Mandy, you're good. I know, I'm brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> Children, playtime is over. <laughs> <laughs> can I help you? No, I'll be fine. <laughs> I can do it by myself. I like hills. It is a big hill. Yes, it is a big hill. Maybe if you could help push. OK. Thank you, Peppa. I could do it on my own, but it's easier with two. I'm not used to big hills. Where I lived before, it was all flat. Everything is on a hill around here. My house is on a hill. The supermarket is on a hill. Rebecca Rabbit lives inside a hill. <laughs> it's all hills, hills, hills. <laughs> have we all had fun today, children? Yes! The parents have arrived to pick up the children. Children, today you will learn how to play recorders. Ooh. Take a recorder each. <laughs> Now, does anyone know how to play music on the recorder? You blow it like this. <gasps> oh! Oh! But that is not music, Peppa. That is a horrible squeaky noise. <coughs> to make music, we must play in a way that sounds... Uh, not horrible? Yes, Danny. <laughs> Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Lovely. You see, all music is made from notes. We just play the notes in the right order. That looks easy. No, do it like this. No, like this. No, ah, stop, stop, stop. That was not music at all. No, that was a horrible noise. <laughs> <laughs> and why was that? We weren't playing the right notes. And they weren't in the right order. So let us begin by learning the first note. <laughs> This is hard. It will get easier with practice. Now, this is the next note in our tune. Bravo! Mummy Pig likes working on her computer. Hello? Hello, Mummy Pig. Are you doing anything today? I'm working on my computer. Oh, that's not good. Computers make you stressed. You need to come to my relaxation class. Relaxation class? 
What's that? It's where you learn to unwind and find your inner happiness. You'll feel amazing afterwards. Actually, that does sound nice. Great! See you at the Sports Centre. This is the Sports Centre. Miss Rabbit is in charge. Hello, Miss Rabbit. <coughs> Hello, Mummy Pig. I'm here for the relaxation class. Hello, Sports Centre. Relaxation class is through that way. You want to book a bouncy castle? No problem. Hello, is this the relaxation class? Yes, we're all here to find inner happiness and calm. Hello, welcome to the relaxation class. It's all about leaving stress behind. So please turn off your phones. Relax your bodies. Empty your minds. Hello, Sports Centre? OK, I'll be right there. Back in a mo. Just keep relaxing while I'm gone. <laughs> Hello, children. Hello, Miss Rabbit. We've come for our gym lesson. Yes, the children are very excited. <laughs> Fantastic. I'll just set up the gym for you. Don't mind me. Just keep relaxing. Oh, hello, Pepper. I've come to do a class. Me too. See you later. They have made a bit of a mess. <laughs> My goodness, what a mess. Oh, sometimes, Pepper, you could do a tiny bit of tidying up. Then we wouldn't ever have to tell you off. Hmm, why do children get told off? Grown-ups don't get told off. Ho, <laughs> ho, that's one of the very few good things about being a grown-up. There. Lovely and tidy. Right. I'm off to the shops. Can George and me come too? OK. <laughs> but I don't think you'll like this particular shopping trip. Daddy, what are you going to buy at the shops? I'm buying a bag of concrete. Daddy Pig likes concrete. Ugh, not the concrete shop again. I'll be as quick as I can. This is the concrete shop. What does that sign mean, Daddy? It means you shouldn't park here. So why are you parked here? It's all right, because I won't be long. Hello, Daddy Pig. Have you come to do some shopping? Just buying a bag of concrete. It's so boring. Peppa, why don't you and George wait here and help me do my job? Thank you, Miss Rabbit. I won't be long. No problem. What job are you doing today, Miss Rabbit? I'm a traffic warden. Ooh! What does a traffic warden do? I look for cars parked where they shouldn't be. When I find one, I give it a parking ticket. Like this. Ooh! There. One bag of concrete. Say cheese. Cheese. See you later. Bye-bye. Oh, what's this? It's a parking ticket. Ah. Oh. And everyone thanks their daddy for being their daddy. Ah, what a great day to be a father. Mummy, can me and George play in the garden today? Of course, Pepper. I might do some weeding. Well done, Mummy Pig. This garden could do with a bit of a tidy up. And, uh... What are you going to do today, Daddy Pig? The grass needs cutting. Uh. I think I will just be a father today. Can you be a father and cut the grass? You've all forgotten, haven't you? Forgotten what? It's Father's Day, when daddies get thanks and cards and sometimes cake. Is it like Mother's Day? Sort of, although Mother's Day is a real day. And Father's Day is a sort of made-up modern thing. What do you mean? It's exactly like Mother's Day, but for daddies. Poor Daddy. We forgot. Yes. Sorry, Daddy Pig. What would you most like to do on your special day? Um, could I watch some racing cars on TV? There you go. Fantastic. Daddy Pig loves watching racing cars on TV. Ah. <sighs> 
Pepper, George, it would be really lovely if you made Daddy a Father's Day card. Yes! <laughs> Here is Daddy in the garden, <laughs> in the long grass. Wonderful. What do you want it to say inside? To Daddy, you are the bestest Daddy in the whole world. Well done. Kiss, kiss. Love. Daddy Pig is about to go to work. Who could that be? Here is Mr Zebra, the postman. Delivery for Daddy Pig. Thank you, Mr Zebra. Bye now. Bye-bye. What is it, Daddy? It's a synthesizer. Ooh. What's a synthesizer? I'll show you. Wow. It's a little piano. Yes. It is like a piano. But with buttons. What do the buttons do, Daddy? Uh, I'm not sure. Oh, here's a book that tells you what the buttons do. Ah, it looks a little more complicated than I thought. Don't worry, Daddy. We'll learn all about it while you are at work. Thank you, Pepper. See you later. Bye bye. <laughs> Let's play the sinking sizer. Okay, first we need to switch it on. Then we can play it just like a piano. Ooh, can we have a go? Yes. We are good at the piano, Mummy. <laughs> <laughs> so what do the buttons do? We can use the buttons to record sounds. What kind of sounds? Anything you like. Say something, Pepper. <laughs> <laughs> That's me. Now we can play the sound like a piano. <laughs> Can we do some recording? Of course. Say something, George. I saw. George, this is you. I saw. <laughs> As it's such a sunny day, we thought we'd have a picnic in the garden. Oh, that would be lovely. Come on, Pepper and George. Race you. <laughs> <laughs> this is a good spot for a picnic. Mmm, yes. <laughs> Ooh, look at all the flowers in the grass. Yes, let's pick them. I will pick the buttercups. I will pick the daisies. <laughs> no, George. You need to find your own flower to pick. <laughs> Ooh. George has found some very pretty flowers. George, don't pick the flowers in the flower bed. Only pick the flowers in the grass. <laughs> Chloe is collecting buttercups. Pepper is collecting daisies. George is collecting grass. <laughs> don't pick grass, George. Pick dandelions, like this one. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper, George, would you like to see a trick with buttercups? Yes, please. <laughs> George, do you like butter? George does not know if he likes butter. Let me see. <laughs> yes, George, you do like butter. <laughs> How can you tell? If I hold a buttercup under George's chin and it shines yellow, that means he likes butter. <gasps> do it to me! Do it to me! Peppa, do you like butter? You do! <laughs> it's true! I do like butter! <laughs> I've got a trick I can do with daisies! Oh, what's that? If I put a daisy under your chin and it shines yellow, then... um, then that means you like cheese! Becca and Richard Rabbit have come to play with Peppa and George. Mummy, can we play Happy Mrs Chicken on the computer, please? Sorry, Pepper. I need to do my work today. Oh. Why don't you go and play in your room instead? But we don't know what games to play. Oh, there's lots of games you can play. You could have a tea party or do a jigsaw puzzle. We've already played with those things, Mummy. 
What about your marble run? You haven't played with that for ages. Marble run! Pepper and George <laughs> love their marble run. What does it do? Squeak! You pick a marble and you put it in here. And it goes tumble tumble all the way down to the bottom. Ooh! I'll show you. Ready, steady, go! <laughs> <laughs> again, again! Again! Bye bye, Mummy. You can go and do your work now. Oh, thank you, Peppa. Have fun. Can I have a go? Yes, Rebecca. You take this marble and you... Ready, steady, go! <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. And then you can add some more bits to the marble run. Let's make it the biggest marble run ever. Yay! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Let's add this wiggly bit. And a windmill bit. The marble will make it go round and round. Do you want to have a go, George? <laughs> Ready, steady, go! <laughs> it's going down the windmill bit. And the wiggly bit. And there. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> Let's add more bits. Yes! Let's make the biggest marble run ever! <laughs> Pepper and George are visiting Grandpa and Granny Pig. Granny Pig! Grandpa Pig! Hello, my little ones. What have you got there, George? Robots! It's a robot called Mr Robot. Shall I show you how it works? Yes, yes please. please. Mr Robot can walk all by himself, but you need to use this. It's called a key. Oh. You put the key in here, like this, and turn it. <laughs> Very impressive. Oh, it stopped. The long grass is stopping it from walking. Perhaps you could cut it, Grandpa Pig. Yes, maybe later. Let's do it again. <laughs> oh. Where's the key? It must have fallen out when Mr Robot was walking. <laughs> Don't worry, George. I'm sure we can find it, can't we, Grandpa? Yes, I have the very thing for finding lost keys in long grass. Now, where is it? The lawnmower is right in front of you, Grandpa Pig. But I'm not looking for the lawnmower. I'm looking for this, my metal detector. Metal detectors are good at finding lost keys. Oh, it's not in the box. Is the metal detector lost as well? I'm afraid so. Oh dear. Sorry, George. The key is lost forever. <laughs> Who can that be? Hello, everyone. Hello, Mr Fox. What can I sell you this morning? I'm a solar-powered torch. A wooden frying pan, an electric gnome. Nothing for us today, thank you, Mr Fox. <laughs> Children, tomorrow is World Book Day, when we celebrate the wonder of books. I love books. Me, me, too, too, me, me too. too. Good. Please come to playgroup dressed as someone from your favourite book. Can I come as Super Potato? Is Super Potato in a book? No, he's on TV. No, it must be a character from a book. Can I come as someone from a fairy tale? Yes, it can be any book you like. <laughs> Remember your costumes for World Book Day tomorrow. <laughs> mummy, Mummy, it's World Book Day tomorrow and we have to dress up as someone from a book. That sounds exciting. Who are you going to be, Pepper? You've got lots of books to choose from. Yes! <laughs> I can go as a sleepy princess from this book. Yes, I love reading you this story. <clears throat> Once upon a time, there lived a... Or maybe I can go as the red monkey. <laughs> I love that book too. Hmm, I can't decide. All the books are good. Why not go as Funny Onion from the book that Mummy Pig wrote? No, Daddy. It has to be a real book, not Mummy's book. <laughs> Thank you very much, Pepper. Once upon a time, 
there was an onion called Funny Onion. Four seven six eight five nine three one two. Most of Mummy Pig's book is one big long number. Yes, there were a few printing problems. How about this book? The Tiny Magic Fairy. Yes. <laughs> Daddy, what is a festival? It's a big outdoor party with lots to see and do. I just hope it doesn't rain, otherwise it can get a bit muddy. Don't worry, it won't be muddy. Oh, I like mud. This is the children's festival. Wow! wow. <laughs> Welcome to the festival! At the children's festival, there are so many fun things to see and do. <laughs> Here is Susie Sheep. Hello, Peppa. Hello, Susie. Isn't this great? It's brilliant. There's so much going on. What shall we do first? We've got making things, sand castles, storytelling. Yes, I like stories. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> this is the story tent. All of Peppa's friends are here. Hello, children. If you want a story about a pirate, say, Aha! Aha! Good. Once upon a time, there was a pirate. He found a desert island and he dug up some buried treasure. The end. <gasps> what an adventure! That story makes me miss the sea. I must set sail at once and find that desert island. Captain Dog loves the sea. It's just a story, Daddy. You don't need to set sail. Oh, yes. No need for me to set sail ever again. I like the children's festival. Yes, and not a drop of rain. We've been really lucky this year. Oh, oh, I told you it wouldn't be muddy. A little bit of mud would be nice. Whoop! What's it like out there, Daddy Pig? Is there any mud? Um, a little bit of mud, yes. Oh, my goodness. Wow! So much mud! <laughs> Yes, but it does say it can get a tiny bit muddy here sometimes. A tiny bit muddy? I've never seen so much mud in all my life. It's brilliant. Yes, <laughs> and we've got a whole day at the festival ahead of us. At the children's festival, there are so many fun things to see and do. Hmm. Let's start with making sandcastles. Yippee! Sandcastles! This is the sandcastle area. Who likes making sandcastles? Yay! Now, you might have noticed it's been raining. So instead of sandcastles, we're making mud castles. Hooray! First, fill your buckets with mud. <laughs> Turn your buckets over. Give them a tap. Lift your buckets. Mud castles! <laughs> I like mud castles. Mud castles are the best! Well done, Miss Rabbit. How did you ever come up with the idea for mud castles? Simple. It rains every year, so we always make mud castles. Ah. So what do we want to do next? How about painting pictures? Yay! This is the painting tent. Today, we're going to paint pictures. And instead of paint, we're using mud. Ooh! We've got lots of brown mud and greenish mud. I even found some blue mud this morning. Granny and Grandpa Pig. Come and see the strawberries I've grown. Grandpa Pig has spent days and days growing strawberries. I think you will be impressed. Perhaps we can make some strawberry jam. Yes, please. Pepper and George love strawberry jam. <laughs> May I present my strawberry? One strawberry? You've grown one strawberry? It will be the best tasting strawberry ever. Why is it hiding in a little house, Grandpa? It is hiding because the cheeky little birds have eaten all the rest. Ah! Uh, you cheeky bird! So now there are no strawberries. And we won't make jam. We can still make jam. 
I know a place that has lots of strawberries. <laughs> it's a strawberry farm. Ooh. So that's where we will go. This is the strawberry farm. Hello there. Have you come to pick strawberries? Yes, Miss Rabbit. Then you've come to the right place. We've got nothing here but strawberries. Wow! So many strawberries! Pick as many as you like. <laughs> here is Pedro Pony with his mummy and daddy. Hello. Hello, Pedro. Have you picked a lot of strawberries? Yes, but my mummy and daddy keep eating them. Oh, is this the way out? I never want to see a strawberry ever again. How strange. I suppose some people just don't like strawberries. <laughs> Picking strawberries is fun. I must say, these strawberries do look lovely. But the real test is if they taste any good. Actually, that is rather good. Mmm, yummy! I love the strawberry farm. Strawberry, strawberry. Today is Grandpa Pig's birthday. A party, a party, we're going to a party. You know, it's not really a party, Pepper. What do you mean? It's just a nice quiet meal in a restaurant on Grandpa Pig's birthday. And you haven't been to a restaurant before, have you? No. So that will be fun, won't it? Yes. <laughs> Pepper and her family have arrived at the restaurant. Ooh, this is nice. <laughs> we can sit here. No, Pepper, come back. Why? We have to be shown to our table by the waiter. <clears throat> have you booked a table? We're with Grandpa Pig. Please, uh, follow me. Hello. 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 Are you here for the party? Shush, Pepper. These people are having their own meals. And remember, it's not really a party. Oh. Peppa! George! Happy birthday, Grandpa! <laughs> Is this my birthday card? Yes. We made it ourselves. It's lovely. But it's sad it's not a real birthday party. I think I'm a bit too old for a real party, Peppa. <laughs> I think Grandpa would rather have a nice, quiet meal. With party hats! <laughs> oh, Peppa! That's not a hat, it's a napkin. The napkins are to stop food and drink getting on your best clothes. <clears throat> would you like to order drinks, madame? Could we have a bottle of water, please? Of course. Can I get you anything else? Party hats, please! Party hats? Yes. Because it is my grandpa's birthday. A grandpa pig's birthday. I'll see what I can do. Mummy, what is a petting farm? It's a place where you get to meet tiny little animals. You can feed them and you can stroke them. Ooh! <laughs> I love ickle little animals. There's just one important rule at the farm. Before and after meeting the animals, we have to wash our hands. Yes, Daddy Pig! This is the petting farm. Hello there, my lovelies. I'm Mrs Badger the farmer. Hello! Now, before we meet the animals, there's one thing we have to do. We have to... Wash our hands! That's right! <laughs> First, we use some soap. It's all bubbly. <laughs> I love bubbles. And now some water. Wash, wash, wash our hands. Wash them nice and clean. Bubbly, scrubbly, scrubbly, bubbly. Wash them nice and clean. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of animals have you got here, Mrs Badger? We've got chickens. <laughs> here are the chickens. It's time for the chickens' lunch. Would you like to feed them? Yes, please! OK, have a bag of birdseed each. <laughs> Here, Chicky Chick, come and eat some seeds. <laughs> <laughs> what lucky chickens. Yes, they certainly are well fed. <laughs> now, who wants to hold a baby chick? Me, 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 me! me, me. <laughs> So little. They're so fluffy. They're so sweet. <laughs> it's true. 
baby chicks are little and fluffy and sweet. To make pizza, we need flour, tomatoes, cheese, and for toppings, we've got all sorts of nice things. Sweet corn, mushrooms, olives, pineapple. <laughs> George likes pineapple on his pizza. Ah, pineapple on pizza? No, that's just not right. In fact, I think pineapple on pizza is against the law. <laughs> Silly daddy. <laughs> it is actually not against the law to put pineapple on pizza. Um, daddy, can we make funny faces on top of the pizzas? Of course we can. But before we start cooking, we have to wash our hands. Wash, 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 wash our, our hands, hands, wash them nice and clean. clean. Bubbly, scrubbly, scrubbly, bubbly, wash them nice and clean. <laughs> Let's wipe the table clean. And put our aprons on. <laughs> right, let's make pizza. Pizza, pizza! Pepper, George, could you please mix this flour and water together with your fingers? <laughs> it's all sticky and stretchy. <laughs> Perfect. I'm just going to knead it. We sprinkle a little flour on the table so the dough doesn't stick. You need to be big and strong to knead dough. <laughs> I am big and strong. <laughs> and George is big and strong too. <laughs> okay, that's enough kneading. Let's make the dough into four balls. One, two, three... Four. And we roll them flat with a rolling pin. Ah, it looks like a pizza now. <laughs> Watching their favourite television programme, Super Potato. Hoo-ha! Am I a bird? Am I a plane? No, I'm a potato! <laughs> <laughs> I love watching Super Potato. Me too. Super Potato is the best. Hoo-ha! Fruit and vegetables keep us alive. Always remember to eat your five. Always remember to eat your five. We've seen this before. I know all the words by heart. Yes, they show the same story again and again and again. Brilliant, isn't it? Yes, and we will remember all of the words forever. Yes, we remember all of the words Forever. <laughs> Everyone is so tiny on TV. In real life, they are big. How are they big and tiny? And how do they get in our TV? It's some sort of magic. It's not magic, it's science. Edmund Elephant is a clever clogs. <laughs> <laughs> Would you all like to see how they make TV? Yes, yes please. please. OK, let's go to TV Land. This is TV Land. Stop! Do you work here? Um, no. Then I'm afraid you can't come in. But we are children and we want to see how TV is made. Oh, in that case, in you go. Thank, Thank you. you. Ooh! Wow! wow. Hello there. Here is Miss Rabbit. Have you come to see how we make television? Yes. Very good. Follow me. The <laughs> parrot. My goodness, what lovely paintings, Pepper and George. <laughs> <laughs> Look at my pretty picture, Polly. <laughs> pretty picture, Polly. <laughs> Polly Parrot copies everything that is said. I'll put them up here for Granny Pig to see when she gets home. But where is Granny Pig? Oh, she's just out playing with her friends. <coughs> here is Granny Pig with her friends. Granny Pig! Hello, my little ones. Have you had a nice morning? Yes, thank you, Granny. Why are you wearing funny clothes? We have been doing historical reenactment. What's hysterical reenactment? It's when you dress up like it's the olden days. And sit around drinking tea. We do more than just drink tea. <coughs> Today, we were being Romans. What's Romans? Romans were people who lived a very long time ago. 
and I am the Emperor. The Emperor was the boss of all the Romans. Ooh. Goodbye. See you next week, Granny Pig. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Granny, can we be Romans too? Yes, Peppa. Here are some helmets. <laughs> <laughs> now what do we do? We march around saying, Benny, Vidi, Vici. What does that mean, Granny? It probably means, anyone for another cup of tea? No. It means, I came, I saw, I conquered. Benny, Vidi, Vici. <laughs> Benny, Vidi, Vici. <laughs> Granny Pig loves being a Roman. Benny, Vidi, Vici. <laughs> Peppa and George love being Romans too. Pepper and George have been doing some lovely pictures this morning. Granny and Grandpa Pig have come to visit. Hello, everyone. I like your funny hat, Grandpa. Thank you, Peppa. Today I'm doing a bit of bird spotting. What's bird spotting? It's Grandpa's latest little hobby. I suppose it keeps him happy. Uh, yes. I look for birds, and when I spot them, I tick them off in my book. Look, this is a robin redbreast. I spotted one in my garden. Ooh. Of course, what I'd love to spot is a very rare bird, like a cuckoo. Never mind, Grandpa. I'm sure you will one day. Yes. In fact, I was um, actually hoping to do a bit of bird spotting before lunch, if that's OK. No problem. Lunch won't be ready for ages. Grandpa, can George and me go bird spotting too? Of course you can, Peppa. <laughs> oh, oh, we'll call you when lunch is ready. The best place to spot birds is where there are trees. Birds like trees. Um, but there aren't any birdies here, Grandpa. Ah, but I know a clever trick. We pretend to be a bird. <whistles> then hopefully a bird will hear our call and fly here. Look, Grandpa, a birdie. Ah, yes. That is a sparrow. A good start. Here are Mr Stallion and Mrs Corgi. Ah, Grandpa Pig. I see you're doing some bird spotting. Yes. Us too. We've just spotted one of our rarest birds in the world. A ribbon-tailed bird of paradise. Amazing to find one this far north. Well done. Ooh, could we get a super potato, please, Daddy? Is it made of plastic, Mr Fox? It's better than that. It's made of potato. Made of potato? Yes, it's a potato. Well, in that case, I'll have two, please. Would everyone please take their seats? The film is about to start. Ooh. Now, does anyone need to go to the toilet? No, no Mummy Pig. Pig. Good, then let's go in. This is the cinema where the film will be shown. Hello, Rebecca. I've got Super Potato. I've got Mrs Carrot. Help, save me, Super Potato. <laughs> Super Potato, to the rescue! <laughs> Shush, Pepper. The film is about to start. Super Potato, the movie! Hooray! Far away, in the land of fruit and vegetables, there is a problem. Help! My foot is stuck. We need a rescue! Someone call for Super Potato! Super Potato! Super Potato! Did someone call my name? Hooray! By the power of vegetables, I am here! You're my hero! Hooray! Mommy, I need the toilet! OK, come on then. Sorry, excuse us. Miss Rabbit is in the projector room. Is this the toilet? No, Peppa, this is the projector. What's a projector? It's the machine that shows the film you're watching. See? Oh, yes! There's Super Potato! <laughs> I get to watch Super Potato six times a day. Wow! I wish I was a superhero. You are a superhero to us, Miss Rabbit. You do all the important jobs. First, we need to practice our throwing and catching. Catch the ball, Pepper. 
<laughs> to you, Susie. <laughs> to me, Susie. <laughs> oh, don't worry. I'll fetch it. <laughs> to me, Danny. <laughs> Thank you, Danny. But we are practicing our throwing, too. Oh, yes. <laughs> and now to you, George. Oh. George has dropped the ball. George is not very good at catching. Don't worry, George. Try throwing the ball instead. To me, George. Throw it to me. <laughs> oh, George has thrown the ball backwards. George! I'll fetch it. <laughs> Danny is good at fetching the ball. <laughs> I like fetching. That's good, because fetching is an important part of bat and ball too. Can we play bat and ball now? Yes, Peppa will throw the ball. I'm good at that. And Susie will hit the ball with this bat. I'm good at that. The rest of us will all run after the ball. And I'm good at that. Susie, you will run around the cones like this to win a point. Ooh. But if anyone catches the ball, Susie is out and gets no points. Ah. Oh. Let's play. Everyone takes their positions for bat and ball. Are you ready, Susie? Stand back, everyone. I'm going to hit it a million miles. Ooh. Ready? Ready. Run, Susie, run! Oh, yes. <laughs> Quick, get the ball. Get it. I got all the way around. I win one point. Well done, Susie. Now it's George's turn to bet. <laughs> what shall we play? Let's do digging. Um, I'm not very good at digging. I am. Squeak. Watch this. <laughs> <laughs> Molly Mole is good at digging. Wow! Molly's digging a long tunnel. <laughs> oh, I found something. What is it? Wow! It's a pirate treasure chest. I wonder how it got there. It's a mystery. We'd better tell my daddy. My goodness! Where did this hole come from? Daddy! Daddy! We found some pirate treasure at the end of our tunnel! Treasure? How did it get there? We don't know. It's a mystery. Maybe we should call the police. <laughs> They'll know what to do. This is the police station. Hello! Police station! Hello! It's Daddy Pig here. We found some pirate treasure. Pirate treasure, you say? We'll be right there. Hello, 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 hello. That is how the police say hello. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> I want to be a policeman when I grow up. Good lad. <laughs> so, where's this pirate treasure then? Under the ground. We were just digging this tunnel when suddenly we found this. Yes, yes, yes. That's pirate treasure, all right. It's just like the pirate treasure we have back at the police station. Let's take this back and put it with the other one. Oh, dear. Police officer Panda is dropping coins along the way. Right. Back to the police station. <laughs> Christmas Day. Pepper and her family are opening their presents. Ah, yes. Socks. Just what I always wanted. Oh, I've got socks too. Lovely. I wonder if you've got socks, Peppa. Uh, I hope not. Hooray! A toy car! Vroom, vroom. <coughs> Don't be sad if it's socks, George. Airplane! Yeah. Oh, what a fantastic <laughs> Christmas. <laughs> yes. All I want to do now is sit back and do nothing for the rest of the day. <laughs> Peppa, yeah. George, careful, or you might trip and fall. Ow! My arm! Oh dear, Peppa has tripped and bumped her arm. Hmm, I think we should call Dr Brown Bear. Dr Brown Bear speaking. 
A bumped arm, you say? And on Christmas Day, I'll be right there. So, Peppa, bumped your arm, have you? Yes. Can you wiggle your fingers? That's very good. But just to be safe, we'll take a trip to the hospital. This is the hospital. Miss Rabbit is the nurse. Who's next? <sighs> that will be me. Wait, we have a sick child. Oh, a child. A child, yes. That's more important than me. Miss Rabbit will take you from here, Peppa. Yes, just follow me, please. Oh, Miss Rabbit, the hospital is all Christmassy. Looks lovely, doesn't it? Hello, Peppa. Oh, hello, Pedro. Why are you here? I bumped my arm. No. Is it your birthday? No, it's Valentine's Day. What's that? On Valentine's Day, you tell the people you love that you love them. Usually with a special card, like this. Happy Valentine's Day, Mummy Pig. Oh, thank you, Daddy Pig. Roses are red, violets are blue, you are so lovely and I love you. Hugs and kisses, Snufflekins. Oh, I love you too, Daddy Pig. Ho, ho! Mummy, do you have a card for Daddy? <coughs> oh, I gave it to Mr Zebra the Postman. You gave a Valentine's card to Mr Zebra the Postman? Yes, he'll deliver it with the post today. Oh, I see. It is time for playgroup. Mr Bull is cleaning the windows. <laughs> Good morning, children. Good morning, Madame Gazelle. Does anybody know what today is? It's window cleaning day. Apart from it being window cleaning day? It's Valentine's Day. Very good, Pepper. It is the day to give cards to the people we love. My daddy didn't get one this morning. What? Oh, how oh, sad. I've finished cleaning the windows, Madam Gazelle. Thank you, Mr Bull. Oh, dear. You look sad. Oh, I just heard that Daddy Pig did not get a Valentine card. No Valentine's card? No. Goodbye, Mr Bull. Goodbye. Children, today we will all make Valentine's cards for the people we love. Yay! I'm going to make a Valentine's card for my mummy and daddy. I'm making a Valentine's card for my mummy and daddy. <laughs> That's a big shop. It's not one shop, Peppa. It's lots of shops all under the same roof. Wow! But we're not shopping today. Not shopping at the shops? No. Mummy's here for a perfect day experience. Ooh! This is Miss Rabbit's spa. Hello, Mummy Pig. Are you ready for your perfect day experience? Yes, I think so. But what exactly is it? Oh, lots of lovely things. You can have a massage. <coughs> have your fingernails painted. Or have a herbal face wash. Oh, that all sounds lovely. Do we have to do it too, Daddy? No, Peppa. We can go and find our own perfect day. Oh, goody. Bye, Mummy. See you later. Where are we going to find our perfect day, Daddy? Hmm, I don't know. It's just shops and shops and... Ooh, magic moving stairs. That, Peppa, is an escalator. <laughs> It? Yes. Hold my hand. <laughs> <laughs> Here is Susie Sheep. <gasps> it's Susie! Hello! Hello, Peppa. Where are you going? We're going to the top. Where are you going? We're going to the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> Peppa has reached the top. Quick, Daddy. I need to go down to find Susie. I'm coming to find you, Peppa. I'm coming to find you. Pepper and George are back at the bottom, but Susie is at the top. I think that's enough escalators for now. But I need to see Susie. Morning. Good 
Good morning, children. Good morning, Madam Gazelle. Who knows why we have come to playgroup early today? Isn't because we didn't learn enough things yesterday? No, Danny, that is not the reason. Is it because you like us so much? Well, I do like you all, but it is not the reason. Is it a very special day today? Yes, Pedro. We have all come to playgroup early because today is breakfast club. Ooh! And who knows what we do at breakfast club? Eat our breakfast! Correct! I love eating breakfast. So do I. Me too. Everyone <laughs> loves eating breakfast. And why is it so important to have a good breakfast? Because breakfast wakes your mouth up. So we can do lots of talking. Talk, 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 talk. Yes, yes. Thank you, Peppa. <laughs> <laughs> I eat breakfast because it tastes nice. Yes, Pedro. And breakfast gives us energy to use throughout the day. Uh... What is energy? Energy is the strength and vitality required for physical or mental activity. That's right, Edmund. <laughs> <laughs> so, Rebecca, what do you use your energy for? I use it for hopping. <laughs> Very good. I use energy for thinking. What's he doing? Edmund is thinking. Yes, I was thinking. Edmund Elephant is a clever clogs. <laughs> it can take a lot of energy to think. Ooh. And now we will all choose what to have for breakfast. Miss Rabbit is head gardener. Welcome to the Botanical Gardens, where we grow plants from all around the world. Ooh. Ooh. Our first garden is a wildflower meadow. It will look nice when you've tidied it up a bit. This is what wildflower meadows are meant to look like, Daddy Pig. Ah! It takes a lot of effort to make it look this messy. The butterflies and bees like it. That's right. Wildflower meadows are very good for butterflies and bees. <laughs> Would you like to see the other gardens? Yes, yes please. please. This is the hot house. It's very hot in here. Yes, Peppa. It is where we grow plants that come from very hot places. We have cacti, Ooh. palm trees, ah. and this is a Venus flytrap. Why is it called a flytrap? Because it traps flies. Watch. The Venus flytrap has caught a fly. <laughs> George, let's play Venus flytraps. <laughs> I will be the flytrap and you can be the fly. Buzz, buzz, buzz. Caught you, George. <laughs> now I'll be the fly and you be the flytrap. Buzz. <laughs> George, <laughs> Venus flytraps do not run. <laughs> oh dear, George is a very sad Venus flytrap. Sorry, George. Let's both be flies. Calm down, little flies. It's too hot to buzz about in here. Don't worry. The next room is much cooler. This is our cold house. Is it the North Pole Garden? Fruit and vegetables keep us alive. Always remember to eat your five. It is good to eat five fruit and vegetables every day. Children, Mr Potato has come to find out how much we all know about fruit and vegetables. We know everything about fruit and vegetables. And I know everything about carrots. Good, because today we are going to have a fruit and vegetable quiz. Ooh. What is a quiz? A quiz is where I ask you a question, and if you know the answer, you press the buzzer. Ah! We will need two teams. Peppa, Rebecca and Pedro will be on one team. Susie, Danny and Mandy will be on the other team. <laughs> Let's begin. Our first question is... Which of these is not a vegetable? Lettuce, radish, celery, or a car? 
A car is not a vegetable. That is right. Hooray! Next question. A chocolate biscuit is a fruit. Yes or no? Yes, it's a fruit. My daddy eats five chocolate biscuits every day. Have another guess, Pedro. Is a chocolate biscuit a fruit? Uh, no. That's right. Hooray! And now, the fruit or vegetable questions. Fruit or vegetable? I hope he asks about carrots. Oh. Hello, Mum. Historical reenactment day, is it? Yes. Today, I am a Viking. Ooh, what's that? Vikings were people who lived a very long time ago. They had helmets and shields and ran around shouting, <laughs> <laughs> Can we be Vikings too, Granny? Of course. Here are some helmets. <laughs> I'm a Viking. <laughs> Roar! Vicky, Vicky, roar! <laughs> Pepper and George love being Vikings. See you later. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Pepper and George, come and see what I've made for Viking Day. Granny Pig has made a great big dragon's head. Ooh. It's to go on the front of our Viking boat. Viking boat? Yes. Today we're going sailing with the other grannies. Ho oh, ho! It's just an excuse to have tea and cake. It's not just tea and cake. We also have sandwiches and an apple. Here are the other Viking grannies. Hello, Hello Granny, Granny Pig. Pig! Are you all ready for Viking Day? Yes, and these little Vikings are coming too. Hooray! Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> Madam Gazelle, why hasn't your helmet got horns on? In actual fact, Peppa, Vikings had helmets without horns. Like this. See? No horns. <laughs> but you have got horns. Have I? Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, Grandpa Pig. Goodbye. Have fun on your Viking boat. Are we going on a real Viking boat, Granny? Not a real Viking boat. We will be using Grandpa Pig's boat instead. I'm sure he won't mind. Oh. Today, children, we will be playing musical instruments. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to play the tambourine. I'm going to play the recorder. I'm going to play the triangle. <laughs> we are not playing those musical instruments today. What? We will make our own musical instruments. But we can't make musical instruments. We're children. I am not asking you to make a piano or a trumpet, Peppa. We will be making musical instruments from all of these bits and bobs. Bottles and rubber bands. <laughs> Balloons and yogurt pots. Music can be made from anything that makes a sound. Ah! How do you usually make sound with a musical instrument? You hit it with a stick. You blow into it like this. <laughs> or you shake it. <laughs> yes! Now, let's see what sounds you can make from these things. The children are going to make musical instruments. This box sounds like a drum. Oh, this is not a very good drum. Ah, but what happens if you add rubber bands? No, it's the same. Try plucking those rubber bands instead of hitting the box. Oh, it's not a drum at all. It's a twanger. <laughs> Susie has some bottles. These make a sound if you tap them with a pencil. Yes. And if I put different amounts of water into the bottles... Going out. Don't worry, Mummy. We can look after the house while you're away. That's very kind of you, Susie. But we have a special babysitter coming. That'll be her now. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello. It's my cousin, Charlotte. Charlotte Sheep <laughs> is the babysitter. Hello, Charlotte. Thanks for coming. We won't be out late. You can watch TV and I've made you some pizza. 
Oh, thank you. You two be good. We will. Bye. Bye-bye. How old are you, Charlotte? I'm 17. 17? That's very grown up. You can do anything you like when you're grown up. That's right. You can drive a car and even stay up late. Wow! In the future, when you're grown up, you'll be able to do that too. Ooh! But grown ups also have to go to work, you know. That sounds fun. Can we stay up late with you, Charlotte? Sorry, it's your bedtime now. Oh. <laughs> night, night. Sleep well. Night, night. night. Oh. Susie. Yes? Are you awake? Yes. <coughs> I wish I was grown up. <coughs> Me too. <laughs> <laughs> when we're grown up, we will be downstairs watching TV and eating pizza. Yes. And babysitting. And going to the cinema. And staying up all night. <laughs> <laughs> In the future, we will have a yellow car. No, blue. Yellow and blue. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Grumpy Rabbit. What are you doing here? I brought Nigel for his checkup. Nigel is Grumpy Rabbit's pet newt. Hello, Nigel. Make sure your birdie gets lots of rest and it'll be singing like a canary in no time. Oh, music to my ears. Bye! Next, please. That's us, Nigel. Hello, Nigel. Let's have a look at you. He's looking fine. Oh, good. He's getting lots of exercise. Oh, I wish I could be more like you, Nigel. I need to get fit and healthy, but I haven't got the time. Why don't you go jogging? It's what I do to keep fit. But I'm too busy here. You can jog while you work. All right, I will. I'll start this minute. Dr Hamster <laughs> is jogging to get fit. <laughs> Goodbye, Dr Hamster. Goodbye, Grumpy Rabbit. Next, please. That's <gasps> us. <gasps> now then, Goldie, how are you? Keeping busy. That's what I like to see. <laughs> Dr Hamster, why are you jumping up and down? I'm jogging to get fit and healthy. The only thing is, I can't jog very far in here. I have to keep stopping to turn around. It's not ideal. Oh. Anyway, keep up the good work, Goldie. And remember to drink plenty of water. Thank you, Dr Hamster. Bye-bye. Bye. Pepper and George are going back home. There's Grumpy Rabbit. <gasps> Hello, Grumpy Rabbit. Want a lift? No, thanks. I'm jogging home. Hello, everybody. Hello, Dr. Hamster. Dr. Hamster has brought an exciting creature to show us all. Can you guess what animal it is? Is it a whale? No, it's smaller than a whale. Is it an ant? No, it's bigger than an ant. Is it a big ant? It's a caterpillar. Wow! Lots of caterpillars. Yes. There's a stripey one. The stripes help it to hide in the grass. There's a furry one. <laughs> Can we stroke it? Uh, no, Molly. It might give you an itchy rash. The spotty one is eating a leaf. Yes, caterpillars like eating leaves. <laughs> <laughs> Let's colour in our very own paper caterpillars. Hooray! <laughs> I'm doing a spotty one. <laughs> I'm doing an orange one. I think black and white stripes look nice. <laughs> <laughs> well done, everyone. Now, who can tell me what this is here? It's a leaf. It might look like a leaf, but it's not. It is a chrysalis, which is a shell for a caterpillar to hide in while it sleeps. Ooh! 
Is it like a cosy bed? Sort of. But when you go to sleep and wake up in your cosy bed, you're still Peppa Pig. Yes! But when the caterpillar wakes up in its chrysalis, it has turned into something completely different. Can you guess what it turns into? A whale! A pirate! Has it turned into a super caterpillar? No, none of those. Look, it's moving. What's that noise? It's coming from Grampy Rabbit's boatyard. Here is Grampy Rabbit. Hello, Grampy Rabbit. Hello, Pepper and George. What are you doing? Ah, I've been working on my latest project. Ooh. What is it? Well, I couldn't decide between building a sledge or a jetpack. Oh. But as we've had all this snow, I decided to build a, a sledge. A jetpack. <laughs> it's my personal flying machine. Wow. wow. That must have been very difficult to build. Uh, not really. It's all about calculating the weight to fuel efficiency ratio. Uh, once you've done that, you just bash it all together with a hammer. <laughs> Amazing. Yes, pure rabbit craftsmanship. Does it fly? Well, I've not tried it yet. Let's find out. Safety harness, check. Fuel, check. Cheese sandwiches, check. Uh, could you hold my lunch for me, please? Is it safe? Yes, it's only cheese and bread. No, I mean the jetpack. Of course it's safe. I built it myself. <laughs> Moments from now, I'll be flying high with nothing to see but the clouds and the sky. The clouds, the sky, the clouds, the sky. How does it work? Easy. I just press this big red button and... Well, it definitely works. <laughs> Help me, Detective Potato. I cannot find my bicycle. Aha! This is your bicycle. Uh, no, it is not. Then this is your bicycle. Yes, it is. Thank you, Detective Potato. Oh, oh, Detective Potato is great at solving mysteries. He's the best detective in the world. Right, that's enough potato for today. We're going to the shopping centre. Oh, goody! I love the shopping centre. What are we going to buy at the shops? A big bag of gravel. I'm trying out a new concrete mix idea. Oh. This is the shopping centre. First, Daddy Pig has to find somewhere to park. Hmm, this floor is full. So where do we park, Daddy? Don't worry, there are lots of other floors. Oh, this floor is full too. Oh, oh, up we go. Everywhere looks the same. Yes, that's why you must always remember what floor you park your car on, so you can find your car again. I don't believe it. Not a single space. There's a space. Brilliant. Well done, Pepper. The car is parked. Now we take the lift to the shops. What button do we press? Let's see. Are the shops on floor six or floor three? Here we go. Floor five for the shops. George is playing with his toy car. <laughs> oh, the car is broken. <laughs> what is it, George? Car, car. Don't worry, George. It isn't broken. It just needs new batteries. There. <laughs> That's not Daddy. Oh, it is Daddy. Hello. Have we got a new car? No, I'm just trying it out. It looks funny. It's an electric car. It's a car that runs on batteries instead of petrol. Ooh. Just like George's toy car. <laughs> 
Daddy's got a toy car just like George's. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we go for a drive? Yes, yes please. please. Then let's go. Oh, the car is broken. Does it need new batteries? Oh, yes, of course. We just need to charge up the battery. Look! The battery is charging up. Finished! The electric car is fully charged up. Right. Is everybody ready? Yes, yes Daddy, Daddy Pig. Pig! Then let's go! Wow! This car is so quiet. Yes, electric cars are quiet. Granny, Granny! <laughs> oh, where's Granny Pig? Here I am. Granny Pig is wearing a pretend beard. Today, I am a caveman. Ooh! Granny and her friends are pretending to be in the Stone Age. What's the Stone Age? Well, it was a long, long time ago. When people lived in caves, ate berries, and chased big, hairy elephants called mammoths. Can we be Stone Age too? Of course you can. I've made you both costumes. Look, George, we're in the Stone Age. <laughs> Come and see what we're doing in the garden. Here are Granny Wolf, Granny Dog and Madame Gazelle. Look, everyone, here are Stone Age Pepper and George. Hello! We are digging a cave with our stone tools. Why don't you have buckets and spades? Stone Age people didn't have buckets and spades. You see, today we are living exactly as people did in the Stone Age. Tea time for thirsty Stone Age people. Oh, lovely. Do Stone Age people drink tea? Uh, not exactly. But I'm sure if they could have had tea, they would have had tea. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Mmm, all this digging has made me rather hungry. Me too! Let's gather berries! Yes, yes berries! Mmm, strawberries! <laughs> ah, you're eating all my precious strawberries. But that's what Stone Age people did. Hello, Pepper and George. Granny Pig! Granny Pig is wearing a space suit. Why is Granny dressed as a space person? Oh, Granny is playing another little game with her friends. I'm doing an important historical reenactment. <coughs> it's about when people first landed on the moon a long time ago. Ooh! Follow me. If you ask me, it's just an excuse to have cups of tea and some cake. System checks complete, Granny. Rocket is ready for blast-off. Wow! A rocket! Yes! It's Grampy Rabbits. He's kindly lent it to us for the day. What excitement! I'll just get the rocket ready for its blast-off to the moon. <laughs> Granny, are we really going to the moon? No, Peppa. It's just pretend. Ah! We are going to pretend the garden is the moon. And do the things they did on the first moon landing. We will plant a flag. And we will collect moon rocks. Just be careful of my rockery. Don't worry, Grandpa Pig. We will be very careful. Well, while you play your game, I think I'll make myself useful getting the tea and cakes ready. Have fun. All aboard, everyone! Ten, nine, eight, seven, Oh, well, I suppose six, these harmless little garden five, games keep Granny four, happy. Three, two, one! We have lived off! <laughs> oh, my goodness! <laughs> Grampy Rabbit's rocket has really taken off! Why does the game have to be so noisy? Grampy Rabbit! This was just meant to be pretend! Pretend? What would be the fun in that? Day is the Mummy's Fire Station practice day. Hello, Mummy Pig. Are you ready for action? Yes, Miss Rabbit. Mummy, can we stay and watch you practice? 
Oh, there won't be much to see, Peppa. It's mostly just sitting around and drinking tea. Daddy Pig, we do proper fire service training here. Ready, steady, go is our motto. And to get that right, we need to practice. Yes, stay and watch. Daddy Pig might learn something. This is the fire service control room. Time for a cup of tea, I think. What did I tell you? We need a cup of tea to get ready for the day. In an emergency, we have to be ready in seconds. This first practice will show you just how ready we are. When I ring this bell, the tea drinking stops, the helmets go on, everyone slides down the fire pole... Whee! 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 ..into the fire engine and off they go! Follow me outside for the next bit. Whee! Whee! Whoopee! <laughs> Remember, ready, steady, go. You just saw ready. Now watch our steady. You have to be very steady when using the fire hose. Mummy's ready. Steady, go! Mummy dog fixes the hose to the fire engine. Mummy Pony rolls out the hose and Mummy Pig points the squirty end at the target. Turn the water on. Water on. Steady, Mummy! Steady! Today we are going to be learning all about... <laughs> <laughs> what is so funny? Madame Gazelle, you made a squeak. Oh, uh -huh. It is just a squeaky floorboard. Hmm, I really should get it fixed. Hello? Oh, I completely forgot. I'll be right there. Children, I must go to the dentist. I will only be gone for a little while. Who will be our teacher? Oh, um... Moo! I'll finish cutting the grass. Excellent. Mr Bull. Would you mind looking after the children while I go to the dentist? Uh... Thank you so much. Children, Mr Bull will be your teacher. I will be back very soon. Be good. We will! Good morning, children. Good morning, Mr Bull. Today I will teach you all about numbers. We've already done numbers. Have you? Can you tell me what number this is, then? Five. Very good, Danny. Does anyone know any other numbers? One, six, forty-two. Oh, you do know your numbers. Well, do you know the letters of the alphabet? Yes. C for cat. D for dog. E for elephant. <laughs> We know lots of letters. So I see. Has Madame Gazelle taught you any nursery rhymes? Mary had a little lamb. Days of the week. Friday. Fruit and vegetables. Carrot. Gosh, Madame Gazelle has taught you everything. Mummy Pig is making an apple pie. Is the apple pie ready yet, Mummy? No, Peppa. It has to cook in the oven. Well, it looks like we'll just have to wait. Yes. What are you all doing? We're waiting for the apple pie. Well, it's going to take time to cook. <coughs> Why don't you all wait somewhere else? Oh, oh OK. What do we do now? <coughs> well, I was going to do my crossword puzzle, but I can't find anything to write with. We Find you something, Daddy. Come on, George. <laughs> George, we need to find something for Daddy to write with. <laughs> George has found Mr. Dinosaur. <laughs> you can't write with Mr. Dinosaur. <laughs> George has found a toy train. And you can't write with the train. Oh. Look, a crayon! <coughs> Daddy can write with this. <coughs> Come on, George! <laughs> Daddy, we found something to write with! Oh, a crayon.
crayon. Just what I needed. Thank you, Pepper and George. Hmm. Ah! Oh. Can we look for something else? OK, let's play a looking game. Find something that is the shape of a square. A square? Yes, there must be something square-shaped in this room. Can you see a square, George? Good morning, children. Good morning, Mademoiselle. Uh -oh. Purple woolly socks are mittens for my feet. When the days are cold, they keep in all the heat. That, children, was a poem about woolly socks. Oh, what about woolly socks? A poem is a magical way of using words that puts a picture in your mind. A picture of woolly socks? Not just woolly socks. A poem can be about anything. A lovely garden on a hot summer day. A young man. A broken heart. And woolly socks. <laughs> uh, yes. And sometimes the words in a poem rhyme, like feet and heat. Or cat and mat. Or dog and dog. No, Danny. That is not a rhyme. That is the same word. Oh, yes. Madame Gazelle. I can't think of any words. If you can't think of words, you can use sounds instead. Listen to the wind. It goes, ooh, wah, ooh, wah. <laughs> ah playtime, children. <laughs> Look for something we can make a poem about. <laughs> What can we make a poem about? A little bird. Little bird. Birdy bird. You are very birdy. <laughs> Mummy, may I have some juice, please? Of course you may, Pepper. Thank you. Well, I never. It says here that children today are very rude. Would you like some juice, George? Please. Thank you. It says children have no manners and never say please and thank you. Oh, Pepper and George always say please and thank you, don't you? Yes, Grandpa. <laughs> I'm very glad to hear that because please and thank you are very important words. In fact, they are magic. Magic? Oh, yes. Nice things happen when you say please and thank you. Please, please. No, George. You only say please when you ask for something. And you say thank you when someone does something for you. Thank you, thank you, thank <laughs> you, thank you. Oh, oh, it's time to go to playgroup. <laughs> Is everybody ready? Yes, Daddy Pig. Then let's go. Thank you. This is Peppa's playgroup. Mr. Bull is cutting the grass. The grass is looking lovely, Mr. Bull. Oh, thank you, Daddy Pig. <laughs> Good morning, children. Good morning, Madam Gazelle. Let me introduce you to the Being Nice Tree. What does it do? When someone is nice, I put a picture of them in the branches. Ooh! How do we be nice? There are lots of ways to be nice. <coughs> Madame Gazelle, I know some magic words that are nice. Please and thank you. Everyone is queuing for ice cream. Muff. Hello, Mrs Cat. What flavour would you like? Is the vanilla ice cream nice? Oh, I don't know. Oh, I haven't tried it yet. It is Mr. Labrador's first day selling ice creams. Oh, it's delicious. Oh, nom, 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 nom. Would you like one? Yes, please. What's the strawberry flavour like? I I'd better check. Oh, nom, 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 nom. Ooh, that's nice as well. I want a strawberry ice cream. <coughs> what do you want, George? Ice cream. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Oh, nom, 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 nom. Is the mint ice cream good? Mmm, lovely. Um, four mint ice creams, please. Thank you, Mr Labrador. It is Pepper and George's turn. Can I have a strawberry ice cream, please? Ah, oh, 
I seem to have run out of strawberry ice cream. Dad, can I have a vanilla ice cream, please? Oh, there's no vanilla left either. Actually, I've got no ice cream left at all. <laughs> no ice cream? <laughs> hmm, maybe I've tried too many myself. <laughs> yes, maybe you did. Mr Labrador loves ice cream. Don't worry, my little ones. Let's make our own ice cream instead. Can we do that? Yes. We used to make ice cream for your mummy when she was a little piggy. Oh, homemade ice cream. That sounds lovely. <laughs> Up aboard now. Take it back home. Can we have the ice cream music, please? Good idea, Pepper. <laughs> 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 right, let's make ice cream. First, we pour some milk into a jug. Then we add some cream. Now, what flavour would you like your ice cream to be? Here is Miss Rabbit. Hello, everyone. Has anyone ever been to a museum before? Yes! Good. Then you know that in a museum you can look but not touch. Because everything in a museum is very delicate. Oops. Yes, these old things break easily. But today, we're going to visit the Science Museum. Here, you can touch everything. Yay! Buttons to press. Wow! <laughs> Brilliant! <laughs> Ooh, spooky. Pull on that rope and try to lift the weight. <sighs> it's too heavy. Now try that rope with the pulleys on it. Wow, now it's easy. <gasps> My goodness, how does that work? Well, it's... Um... The system increases the mechanical advantage proportionally to the number of pulleys. Yes. That's what I was going to say. My little brother Edmund is super clever. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, a tube. Hello, Susie Sheep here. Oh, where are you? I am here. Where? I can't see you. Let's find the end of the tube. <laughs> here I am. <laughs> Or maybe in the future, this could be used for talking to people a long way away. You mean like a telephone? Oh, uh, yes. Telephones exist already, don't they? Shall we have a juice in the clubhouse? Yes, please. Ah, uh, the clubhouse is a bit stuffy, Grandpa Pig. <coughs> Not much fun for Pepper and George. That's all right, Granny. We only want a juice. It is very quiet in the clubhouse. Could we have four fruit juices, please? Do you have a membership card, sir? Of course. Very good, sir. Here are Mr Stallion and Mrs Corgi. Ah, oh, Grandpa Pig. Good to see you, old bean. Shh. Sorry. What are all these people doing here, Granny? I don't know, Pepper. Mostly sleeping, I think. Oh, what's this? It's a jukebox. It plays music. I like music. But it looks like this one hasn't played music in a long time. Four fruit juices. Thank you, Grandpa. <laughs> a jukebox? Yes, but it's not playing music. It might play music if we put a coin in. Uh, we don't want to disturb anybody. Oh, Grandpa. <laughs> There wouldn't be a jukebox here if they didn't want us to play it. I suppose so. Let's choose something quiet. Of course. Coin, please. Thank you. Ooh. Now, where's the rock and roll music? <laughs> here we are. Rock and roll. <laughs> this is rock and roll music. Come on, George. Let's dance. We're going to roll, roll, roll. Rock and roll. We're going to rock. What sort of this noise? Play nicely, children. Oh, 
here is Mr. Bull. Morning, Madam Gazelle. Sorry about the noise. What noise? That noise! We've got a big job on this hill. Uh, thank you for your patience at this time. Madam Gazelle, what is Mr. Bull building? I don't know, Peppa. Let's watch and see if we can guess. <laughs> Mr. Bull has a big drill. He's digging a big hole. He's making a swimming pool. A swimming pool! Hooray! No, that's not a swimming pool. It's a rocket! A rocket! Hooray! But it's got petals. It's a big flower. A big flower? Oh, it's a windmill. Yes, Peppa, it is a windmill. To make electricity. Edmund is right. Edmund Elephant is a bit of a clever clogs. <laughs> the windmill uses wind to make electricity. How? Well, the wind spins the top bit around and electricity comes out the bottom. Ah! Oh. Madame Gazelle, is electricity good? Oh, yes, Susie. We need electricity to power things like lights, television, and music. Back inside, children. <laughs> <laughs> Can we make windmills, Madam Gazelle? Yes. We will need paper and glue and some straws. Let me show you all how to make a little windmill. Mandy, what is Cheese World? It's the most fun ever. There's a cheese river, a cheese mountain, and a cheese sky. Wow! And best of all is the cheese castle, where you get to smell cheese. <laughs> you like cheese, don't you, Mandy? Yes, Mummy. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Cheese World. Have any of you been here before? Yes, I have. Oh, hello, Mandy. Nice to see you back again. <laughs> <laughs> so, as Mandy already knows, everything at Cheese World is about... Cheese! That's right! And we start by sailing on a river of... Cheese! <laughs> this is the River of Cheese. All aboard! Hold tight, everyone! Miss Rabbit, are the boats made out of real cheese? No, the boats are made out of plastic. Boats made out of real cheese would be bizarre. Ah. The Cheese River flows past hills and trees of cheese. <laughs> this is the Cheese Mountain. Ooh! Is this mountain made out of real cheese? No, but this is exactly what it would be like to sail through a cheese mountain. Oh. If cheese mountains existed. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome to the cheese aeroplanes. Wow! Now, has anyone flown one of these planes before? I have! Of course. Hi there, Mandy. <laughs> Can you show your friends what to do? Yes. <laughs> if you pull the lever, the plane goes up. Wow! <laughs> I want to make a sandcastle too. And me. OK, George and me will show you how. <laughs> Put sand in your bucket. Turn your bucket over. Tap it with your spade. Good. Now, lift up the bucket. Ta-da! 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 Pepper, George, <laughs> Mummy and Daddy Pig have made four sandcastles. Nay! Here is Pedro Pony. Hello, Pepper. Hello, Pedro. Do you like our sandcastles? Yes, but it would be better if you had walls joining them together, like this. <laughs> Good idea, Pedro. Yes, lovely walls. <laughs> <laughs> the walls have joined the castle together. Now it's one big sandcastle. 
Wendy Wolf is at the seaside too with her daddy. That's a good castle. Thank you, Wendy. I like the walls. Nothing like good, strong walls. What are they made of? Straw? Sticks? Bricks? Sand. Excellent. Let's make something in the middle. Like what? How about the biggest sandcastle in the world? Yes! yes. We need a heap of sand. <laughs> Wendy, Pedro, Pepper and George are making a hill in the middle of the castle. And on the very top... Ta-da! It looks great. Yes, really good. Now it needs the bobbly bits. What are bobbly bits? All castles have bobbly bits on top of the walls, like this. Peppa is playing with her doll's house. George is playing too. <laughs> Peppa is making a tea party for the doll family. Here, George. I'm the mummy and daddy. You can be the children. <laughs> children? It's nearly tea time, so you must wash your hands. George is putting the dolls to bed. Night, night. George, why are you putting the children to bed? They're having a tea party. <laughs> George likes putting the dolls to bed. Children, come downstairs right now, or you won't get any cake. George isn't listening. He's too busy putting the dolls to bed. George, if you want to play with my doll's house, you have to help with the tea party. Here, George. You can fill the teapot with water. <coughs> Children, come downstairs right now. Mummy, we're coming. <laughs> George is going to fill the teapot with water. Ooh. George has found a spider in the sink. <laughs> George wants the spider to be his friend. George likes the spider. <laughs> the spider likes George. <laughs> Pepper loves playing tea parties. <laughs> Where are all the chocolate biscuits, Daddy? We had lots yesterday. Oh, I'm sorry, Mummy. I must have eaten them all. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Naughty Daddy. George is putting the spider to bed. Night, night. Pepper and George out for a day on the river. Welcome aboard, me hearties. Pepper, George, let's put your life jackets on. <laughs> when Pepper and George are on Grandpa Pig's boat, they must wear life jackets. On this boat, I'm the captain. Aye, aye, captain. Aye, aye, captain. <laughs> when Captain Grandpa tells you all to do something, you must do it. Unless it's something silly. Captain Grandpa never says anything silly. Of course not, Captain Grandpa. <laughs> George, raise the flag. Peppa, ring the bell. Aye, aye, Captain. Granny Pig, take the wheel. Aye, aye, Captain. Full sail. <laughs> Maybe you should go a little slower, Grandpa Pig. Good idea, Granny Pig. I don't want to use up all my petrol. Grandpa, I liked it when you went fast. Don't worry, Pepper. We'll go fast later. Look! There's another boat! Here's Grandad Dog. He's taking Danny Dog out for a day on the river. Ahoy there, Grandad Dog! Ahoy there, Grandpa Pig! Hello, Danny. <coughs> Hello, Pippa. <laughs> Grandad Dog is Grandpa Pig's very best friend. <laughs> I'm surprised your boat is still afloat, Grandad Dog. It must be almost as old as you are. This old boat can go faster than your rusty bucket any day, Grandpa Pig. Pepper and George are going shopping. <laughs> Pepper and George like shopping. George loves sitting in the trolley. So does Pepper. Daddy. 
Can I sit in the trolley too? <laughs> You're too big for the trolley, Peppa. Oh. But you can help with the shopping. Oh, goody. We've got four things on the list. Tomatoes, spaghetti, onions and fruit. I'll find it all. <laughs> this way. Peppa and George love shopping. <laughs> Peppa, first we need tomatoes. Hmm. I can see them, I can see them. Here are the tomatoes, Mummy. Well done, Peppa. One, two, three, four. Now, put them in the trolley. <laughs> the tomatoes. Well done, Pepper. Tomatoes. That's one thing off the list. What's next on the list? Spaghetti. Pigetti. That's right, George, but it's called spaghetti. Pigetti. Spaghetti is Pepper and George's favourite food. I wonder where the spaghetti is. I can see it. This way. Spaghetti. Look, Mummy, here's the spaghetti. Well done, Pepper. Let's put the spaghetti in the trolley. Yes, Mummy. <coughs> Pigetti. <laughs> George, it's called spaghetti. Pigetti. <laughs> <laughs> What's next on the list, Pepper? Crisps. It is very early in the morning. <coughs> it's my birthday. <laughs> George, wake up. It's my birthday. <sighs> I'm going to have a party. <coughs> and Daddy is doing a magic show. <coughs> Quick, George, let's wake Mummy and Daddy up. Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig are still fast asleep. Wake up, it's my birthday! Wake up! Oof. <sighs> what time is it? It's very late. It's five o'clock in the morning. Yes, the whole day is going. <laughs> OK, let's get your birthday started. Yippee! <laughs> <laughs> Mummy Pig, Daddy Pig and George are giving Peppa her birthday present. <laughs> Happy, Happy birthday, birthday Peppa. Peppa! Ooh! What is it? <laughs> A doll's dress. I can put it on Teddy. Thank you, everyone. You're welcome, Peppa. <laughs> I didn't know Teddy was a girl, Teddy. Oh, Daddy. Of course Teddy's a girl. <coughs> I love my new dress. Thank you, everyone. <coughs> You're welcome, Teddy. Don't get it dirty. Do you know what's happening next, Peppa? Yes. My friends are coming for my birthday party. And Daddy's doing a magic show. <laughs> no one will know the magician is your Daddy. You will introduce me as the amazing Mysterio. Amazing Mysterio. Yes, and the Amazing Mysterio. Daddy's been practising his magic tricks all week. My friends are here. <laughs> Yippee! Here are Peppa's friends. Candy Cat, Susie Sheep, Danny Dog, Rebecca Rabbit and Pedro Pony. Hello, everyone. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Peppa. Parcel for you, Mr Pig. Thank you, Mr. Zebra. <laughs> Goodbye! <laughs> Look, I just got a parcel in the post. Can anyone guess what's inside? Dinosaur! Oh, George, <laughs> you always say dinosaur for everything. <laughs> the parcel is far too small to have a dinosaur inside. Hmm, I think it's uh, a new toy. <laughs> You're very close. I know what it is. Your new camera. A new toy for Daddy Pig. That's right. It's a movie camera. We can make movies with it and watch them on our television. Can I use it first, Daddy? <laughs> it's a bit too difficult for children to use. Even I need to read the instructions. Hmm. It's a bit harder than I thought. Susie Sheep's mummy has a movie camera. She switches it on like this. Oh, well done, Peppa. Thank you for purchasing the movie 3000. I am eager and ready to shoot your first movie. Is there a way to turn that voice off? 
I'm not sure. Thank you for purchasing the movie 3000. On Susie's camera, you just press this button to stop it talking. Thank you for purchasing the... Now it won't talk anymore. Well done, Pepper. What shall I film first? Film me! <laughs> <laughs> OK, Pepper. Hello, I'm Peppa Pig. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, everyone. Hello, I'm Peppa Pig. They have to practice at home. <laughs> Peppa is going to be Little Red Riding Hood. <laughs> Mummy Pig has made her costume. Daddy Pig is helping Peppa practice. <laughs> OK, Peppa. What do you say? I'm Little Red Riding Hood. Very good. Then what? Um... I'm going to visit my grandma. I'm going to visit my grandma. Bravo, Peppa! Danny Dog is going to play the big bad wolf. <coughs> Grandad Dog and Mummy Dog are helping him practice. On the big bad wolf. <laughs> Try not to laugh, Danny. You should be a bit scarier. Try it like this, Danny. <clears throat> I'm the big bad wolf. I'm gonna eat you all up! <laughs> you see? Yes, that was really scary. <laughs> Pedro Pony is going to play the hunter. He will rescue Pepper from the big bad wolf. Um, I'm the hunter and... Pedro is a bit shy. Nay. <laughs> you say... I'm going to chase you away, you big bad wolf. Um, go away, naughty wolf. <laughs> Very good, Pedro. Rebecca Rabbit is going to be the grandma. What do I say, Mummy? Let's see. At the start of the play, you get locked in a cupboard by the big bad wolf. Then right at the end of the play, you are rescued by the hunter. And you say, thank you. <coughs> Thank you. Very good, Rebecca. <laughs> Everyone has come to see the school play. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our play, The Little Red Riding Hood. Pepper and George are having a fancy <laughs> dress party. All their friends are invited. <laughs> Pepper is dressed as a fairy princess. <laughs> And George is dressed as a dinosaur. Grrr, dinosaur. <laughs> Here are Peppa's friends. Candy Cat, Susie Sheep, Danny Dog, Rebecca Rabbit and Pedro Pony. <laughs> Susie is wearing her nurse's costume. Hello, Susie. <laughs> Hello, Mr Pig. I'm glad the nurse has arrived. Have you just come from the hospital? I'm not a real nurse. It's just pretend. <laughs> Very good. My, my. Who have we here? I'm a pirate. Shiver me timbers. <laughs> Meow. I'm a witch. I can turn you into a frog. Nay. I'm a clown. <laughs> That's funny. And what are you, Rebecca Rabbit? I'm a carrot. <laughs> Fantastic. Come in. There's a fairy princess and a dinosaur waiting to meet you. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello, Hello Peppa. Peppa. Hello. Hello, Susie. I'm Princess Peppa. <laughs> you must bow when you speak to me. Hello, Your Majesty. <laughs> I'm Nurse Susie. Open wide and say, ah. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Nay. I'm a clown. Do something funny. <laughs> Rebecca, why are you dressed as a carrot? I like carrots. <laughs> <laughs> dinosaur. <gasps> a scary dinosaur. <laughs> Peppa is admiring herself in the mirror. Mirror, mirror of the wall. Who's the fairest of them all? <laughs> Daddy, what is a museum? It's a place full of interesting things that are very old. Older than you? Yes, even older than me. Ooh, really old. <laughs> <laughs> There's one room full of things that belong to kings and queens from long ago. <gasps> I want to see the king and queen's room. And there's another room with a real dinosaur. Wow, dinosaur. 
<laughs> Hello, Mummy Pig. Hello, Miss Rabbit. How many tickets, please? Two adults and two children. Dinosaur. <laughs> and a dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper wants to see the room full of things that belonged to kings and queens from long ago. Wow. Dinosaur. But George wants to see the real dinosaur. <laughs> Don't worry, George. We will see the dinosaur next. <laughs> Pepper, these are all the things that the Queen had a long time ago. This is the Queen's special chair. It's called a throne. It's beautiful. This is the Queen's dress. It's so pretty. Look, Pepper. This is the Queen's golden crown. Wow! What lovely things. Mummy, where is the Queen's television? They didn't have television then. <gasps> no television? <coughs> but they did have computers. No, they didn't have computers either. <coughs> what did they do all day? <laughs> <laughs> Mummy, if I was the Queen, I would eat as much cake as I wanted. What a lovely hot day. <laughs> Pepper and George are wearing their boots. They are going to jump in muddy puddles. I love muddy puddles. Oh. Oh, dear. The sun is so hot that the puddles have dried up. Mummy, Daddy, the puddles are all dry and we can't jump in them. Never mind, Pepper. It's so sunny, you can play in the paddling pool instead. Yes, the paddling pool! <laughs> First, you have to change into your swimming costumes. Yes, Mummy! <laughs> <laughs> Pepper and George are wearing their swimming costumes. Mummy Pig is wearing her swimming costume. And Daddy Pig is wearing his swimming costume. Because it's so hot, you need sun cream. <laughs> So oily and yucky. <laughs> Yuck! Oh, <laughs> what a fuss about nothing. Yes, we all need sun cream today. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, George. <laughs> Let's get some air into this paddling pool. Daddy Pig is pumping up the paddling pool. <laughs> Oof. Easy as pie. <laughs> Pepper holds the hose, and Mummy Pig turns on the water. Where's the water? I expect Uncle Pig will fall asleep after lunch like he always does. Daddy Pig, you shouldn't say such things about your own brother, especially in front of the children. But it's true. Uncle Pig always eats too much lunch and falls asleep, snoring loudly, like this. Uh, Pepper, George, forget what I just said about Uncle Pig. OK, Daddy. <laughs> Peppa and her family have arrived at Uncle Pig and Auntie Pig's house. Hello, Auntie Pig and Uncle Pig. Hello. Hello, everyone. Hello, Big Brother. Uncle Pig is Daddy Pig's brother. Chloe Pig is Peppa and George's cousin. Hello, Chloe. <laughs> Hello, Peppa. Hello, George. I want to show you something. <laughs> this is my new puppet theatre. My daddy made it for me. Wow! Ooh. I've made two puppets already. This one is called Chloe. Hello, I am Chloe Pig. <laughs> and this one is my daddy, Uncle Pig. Hello, Peppa. I am Uncle Pig. <laughs> Chloe, can me and George make puppets too? Yes. Chloe paints the puppet's eyes. Can I do the mouth? OK. My name is Pepper. 
George, what puppet would you like to make? Dinosaur. A dinosaur? George always says dinosaur for everything. OK, a scary dinosaur puppet. Chloe is making George a dinosaur puppet. It needs pointy teeth. There, a scary dinosaur. 